Are you a small business trying to capture price data and information on local competition? Or maybe you're just trying to better understand a more general market? Well, Data Miner can help, and I can show you how with two different methods. I'll quickly go through these two methods, but then later in the video, I'll go through them with a little bit more detail so you can follow along and pause as you need. So let's jump right in. As you can see, I am on a search results page, and the first thing we'll do is try a public recipe. Great, now we have this information. Now the second method I'll try is creating your own recipe. And then just like that, we once again have data. At this point, you can now download it. You can either download it as a CSV, Excel file, or copy it to your clipboard. So now at this point, I'll go ahead and go through those methods again and with a little bit more detail. Um, and one thing I do want to mention is there is a third option called a get similar, which is used on basic tables. But unfortunately, the get similar does not work for these list pages or on detail pages when you see more detailed information. The right click get similar is just used for basic tables. All right, so in terms of public recipes, a public recipe is when a recipe, which is a set of instructions data miner uses to read and scrape a site, um, a public recipe is created and maintained by our users. And if the site is popular, you're gonna see quite a few number of recipes. So what you'll do is click on data miner, go over to your public recipe tab, and then find one that's the most appropriate. So it looks like we have one called restaurant scrape, and looking at the columns, it has the URL, the name, price, and a few other items. So all you have to do is click Run. And then we have the data. Great. So now the next method, which is creating your own recipe, will once again open up Data Miner. And then we'll do New Recipe. And then here you have two options. You can either do a list page or a detail page. A list page is more like a search results page when you have multiple items. A detail page is when you only have one item and, it's, and, and it contains detailed information for that one item. So the process of capturing both of these is actually done with something called an automated job. That is a process used to automate the entire process of scraping. We'll have videos for that further along in uh, the help documents. But for here, I'm going to show you just how to create a basic recipe for a list page. So first we'll do rows. And using our find button, we'll activate the hover. And with your mouse, you're going to hover over um, an area that would wrap around just one example. And then you'll hit Shift. And then you're going to see a few suggested items on the right. They are either going to be classes or element types. This is what you use to lock in the information you want to capture. The dotted line means it's pending. And then when you select one of these items, it's going to lock it in. So it looks like restaurant list item is a good one, since we are able to see a green line wrapping around an entire example. This is what defines the rows. So at this point, we can now confirm. And we'll move on to the columns. This is the actual data you want to capture. So let's do just name. And once again, we'll do the find button, hover, and shift. And it looks like we have an A. So we'll capture that. Press confirm. And then we'll add another column. And here we have the address. Looks like we have a class called location. And do we confirm? And then that is pretty much it for these methods. Um, you, there are additional tabs like navigation, which is what allows you to move to the next page. Let me switch sides. It moves you, allows you to move to the next page and scrape. Um, that will be also covered in later videos when we cover more advanced items. And same for actions, JS. And then finally, what we can do is press save. At this point, you'll just give the recipe a name and then press save, and then you'll run it from here.
Great, and then we have the data. And then once again, you can download it from here. And one other thing I'd like to point out is all the recipes you create will still show up in your My Recipes. As you can see, we have the test two and then the original test scrape. So that is about it for this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And thanks for watching. All right, bye.